What's up guys and welcome back to another Tabs Top 10. Today we are going to be taking a look at Totally Accurate Battle Simulator's Top 10 Boss Units. Now, what I'm counting as a boss unit is any unit in the game that costs at least 1,000 points. Now we're going to be taking a look at a handful of different qualities from each of these units and we're going to be weighing them against each other. We're going to be looking at things like how effective they are in 1v1s, 1 versus a group, how much health they have, and how much damage they do, as well as how fast they attack. So coming in at number 10, we're going to have the Scarecrow unit, an absolute beast of a boss unit that can take down even the toughest foes at a distance before they can close the gap. Unfortunately, he does not have that much health and needs support to do well. Coming in at number 9 on our list. Coming in at number 9, we're going to be taking a look at the Dynasty Faction's Monkey King. The Monkey King is super cool because the more units he attacks, the more duplicates he makes of himself. This makes him an incredibly strong opponent going up against ranged units as he can just jump over the arrows and start duplicating himself into a million units and he can take them all out fairly easy. There is one part about the Monkey King that makes him fall pretty low on our list, and that's his incapability to hold his own in 1v1s. Since he's only going up against one unit, he only makes one copy, and any amount of AoE damage can pretty much take him out. We're going to be taking a look at that right now, going up against the uh, Pirate Queen. When she does her AoE ability where she throws her bombs in a circle, she really just wipes out the Monkey King. All his duplications get deleted, and she really finishes him off pretty easily. Coming in at number 8 on our list is a unit that just barely made the cutoff to be considered a boss unit. We're going to be taking a look at the Jouster. The Jouster is another great unit for charging into groups and really scattering the enemy. Although he does lack in health, he can charge through shield wall lines and really scatter the enemy, opening the way for more units to get in there and finish up the job. The Jouster is a great unit for taking out low-cost troops, although he does lack when it comes to his health. Here we're going to see him going up against archers. First we'll take a look at ice archers, and they really take him out before he can even get started. Next we're going to look at normal archers, who in one quick shot can take out both the cavalry knight as well as his horse pretty easily. Up next, coming in at number 7, we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite units in the game from very early on, the Mammoth, who has the ability to do damage just by walking. He can stomp through low health units and take them out fairly easily while having an incredibly high health pool, a slow rate of attack, which is the reason why he's ranking lower on our list, as well as being one of the only units in the game that can eat more than one Ballista Bolt. It takes him two Ballista Bolts to get knocked down, putting him on par with the pirate queen as far as his health goes very similar to the cavalry unit the mammoth is an absolute monster when it comes to stomping through enemy lines and absorbing all of their damage as well as making for a very good distraction while you can have other support units really clean up the show the mammoth's very high cost ranks him pretty low on our list due to the expensive nature of spawning this unit Coming in at number 6, we're going to be taking a look at the Ancient Era's Minotaur. The Minotaur is once again another insane unit for charging in and scrambling enemy troops. He can hold his own, he does an insane amount of damage, he has a large health pool and an incredibly fast rate of attack. Now, all these things considered, he has a very moderate price range, making him a very good unit for spawning in 1, 2, or 3s. Now, what really sets the Minotaur apart from the other boss units is his ability to close wide gaps against other units that are ranged. So, Zeus is another boss unit that we'll be taking a look at a little bit later in this list, but the Minotaur's ability to charge in really, like I said, sets him apart. It allows him to close gaps and really clean up fairly easily without taking too much damage, and he causes an absolutely insane distraction. Every unit on the battlefield will start attacking the Minotaur as soon as he charges through the front lines, making him an insanely good unit for a pretty moderate price. Coming in at number five. 
At number five on our list, we're going to be taking a look at the King, another one of my all-time favorite units. The King is an absolute beast with one of the highest health pools, one of the highest damage per swings. He has the ability to swing horizontally, taking out more than one unit in just one swing. Going up against units like the Jarl, he can clean up fairly easily, and he holds his own going up against the Pirate Captain, which is one of the strongest units in the game. His lack of an AoE ability, as well as having no ranged abilities, ranks him a little bit lower on our list, but he stands toe-to-toe -to -toe with almost any unit in the game or groups of units, and he will hold his own. At one time, maybe the best unit in the game, he has now been bumped down the list by just a little bit since the addition of the Spooky Faction and the Pirate Faction, bringing absolute monsters of boss units into the game. Coming in at number four on our list, it was a real tough decision deciding who would be four and who would be five between Zeus and the King, but Zeus is an absolute monster when it comes to AoE attacks. One lightning bolt can hit 50 plus units, wiping them out instantly. That is what sets Zeus apart, his ability to take out tens of thousands of points worth of units in just one lightning bolt. High damage, high rate of fire, and moderate cost ranks him pretty high on our list as opposed to some other units. However, when the gap gets closed, he has barely enough health to eat more than two or three swings from a unit like the King, making him obviously not in the top two. And now we are looking at the top three best boss units in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Coming in at number three, we're going to be taking a look at the Pirate Captain, an absolute beast of a unit. Coming in with the Pirate Faction update, he can take out mass armies of units with fairly no problem. The Pirate Captain can hold his own against some of the absolute best units in the game, like the King. The King was once almost unbeatable by every single unit in the game, and he can now barely stand up against the Pirate Captain. With his heavy damage, high rate of fire, high health pool, as well as his ranged melee combo hybrid, it really puts the Pirate Captain above the rest when it comes to 1v1 duels. Coming in at number two on our list, we're going to be taking a look at the Spooky Faction's Reaper, one of everybody's all-time favorite units. He might even be the favorite community pick. Everybody is in love with the Reaper. He's a super cool, super unique unit who does an insane amount of damage as AoE, and he can stand up against many in 1v1s despite having not a large health pool. His far range of attack his rate of attack and the damage he does makes him a formidable opponent both in 1v1s against other really strong units and going up against mass hordes of low price units despite having an impressive amount of damage and other unique qualities he lacks in health and that is what is going to make him place number two on our list here we're going to take a look at the reaper going up against the ballista and he can only eat one ballista bolt that is what it's going to cost to rank him down from number one to number two on our list again one of the absolute best units in the game able to take out hordes of enemies with ease and that will take us to number one on our list number one on our list we're going to be taking a look at the pirate queen from the latest update in totally accurate battle simulator the pirate key queen can 1v1 any unit in the game with ease she can beat the king she can beat the mammoth she can eat up to two ballista bolts without dying she has an incredibly fast rate of attack an incredibly high amount of damage one of the highest health pools in the game while still maintaining a moderate cost here we're going to take a look at the pirate queen going up against about 50 skeleton warriors and when she throws her bombs and jumps in the air she can just absolutely wipe out any army you throw at her like we said earlier she has one of the highest health pools in the game being one of the only units that can eat a ballista bolt and stand up to and live to tell the tale now that's going to be it for this video i hope you guys did enjoy it and if you did like comment and subscribe let me know down in the comments below what is the next top 10 list you guys want to see did you agree with my rankings for these units if you did let me know if you didn't 
let me know as well. I would love to hear what you guys have to think, and I will see you tomorrow for the next video.